Hi, it's Anita at Daydreams of Quilts. I'm going to now show you how to applique your doors and windows onto your basic house shape so that you wind up with a house that looks something like this. So in your pattern, you have a little pattern sheet with a few choices for doors and windows. So what you need to do is get some fusible web um, available at your favorite quilt shop or crafting store and we'll just trace Place your fusible web down on your template and just trace out the design that you want. I'm trying to be fast here. I'm making a mess. There's a baby here too in the background, so that's what you're hearing. <laughs> so once you have traced your shape, you're going to just, uh, sorry, cut it out. I guess we need to cut that shape out. Cut out your shape with your paper scissors, not your sewing scissors. This is going to be a window. Okay, and then I'm going to peel off. This has two sides of paper on either side of the fusible. So I'm peeling off the easy side to take off. I'm going to just stick it down on the wrong side of my fabric. And then I'm going to press it slightly just to get it to stick to that wrong side and then you're going to take your fabric scissors and cut that little shape out so I have the door ready to go here so we'll just take after you've cut the shape out we'll take the second piece of paper off the fusible and carefully so you don't rip your fusible off your fabric Place it where you want it to be on your house. And I'm just leaving a little bit of room here because that's going to be in the seam allowance when we put this all together in the quilt top anyway. And this is where I'll press with some steam. You might want to just read the directions that come with your fusible. Some of them say use steam, some of them say don't use steam. Okay, and then once you have your, your pieces appliqued or fused onto your house, you're going to take it over to the sewing machine and just stitch around the edge. You can use a blanket stitch if your machine has a blanket stitch or you can use a zigzag stitch. So, and I'm just using a contrasting thread so it shows up, but if you don't want your stitches to show up, then match them up to the applique piece that you're stitching down. So this is a blanket stitch that I'm using, but you could also zigzag or satin stitch around the edge. And this secures it to your project as well as preventing fraying. So once you've gone all the way around, you will have something that looks like this. And your piece is now secure and you'll be able to put your quilt through the wash and it won't fray all over the place. So just mix and match your doors and windows and have fun decorating your Halloween houses. Thank you.